Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This cataract appears like an intumescent cataract. We can see some fluid pockets inside this cataractous lens and there is convexity of the anterior surface of the cataractous lens. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision at around 11.32 o'clock with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 o'clock hours away and in this case I did only one side port. Now an air bubble has been injected and here goes tripan blue dye underneath this air bubble to stain the anterior capsule of this white cataract. The dye is then washed out. In this case, I'm going to use 2% HPMC as the viscoelastic substance. Here it is. Visco has filled off the anterior chamber, and now I'm going to do capsulorexis. The anterior capsule is incised with this 26 gauge band needle and the capsular tag is raised. Now I hold this capsular tag and in this case I saw there is no fluid came out. So this is there is not much intralenticular pressure so I opted for rexis at on go but there is no harm in doing twist rexis in even in such cases where there is convexity of the lens of the cataractus lens. Rexis is done. This is a nice 5 millimeter rexis and we, if we can do a rexis of this type in most of the cases, do we really need femtolaser? Okay, you don't have to answer to this question. Uh, now the tip of the FACO needle is introduced, bevel down, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. And now I'm going to do a direct chop and divide this white nucleus into several fragments. Here it is. Bury the tip completely into the substance of the nucleus. Hold the nucleus very firmly and chop it. And here is another chop. This nucleus is very brittle. There is no leathery fiber and it is getting chopped very easily. Four completely separated fragments. Each fragment is now emulsified with ultrasonic energy which is in this case about 50 percent. Fluorite is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury. This is Faro's from Oatley, Switzerland. And now this is the last nuclear fragment. We have to be very cautious at this time. If the antechamber is not so stable, if there is post-occlusion surge, it is better to use a posterior capsule protector during emulsification of the last nuclear fragment. Some visco is injected into the anterior chamber and now since there is only two side ports, I'm going to use this instrument. This is 23 cause Simco cannula for removal of the cortical matter. Yes, the cortex has been nicely removed, but I have to go through the left side port to remove the cortex from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. When the main incision and the side port incisions are about 3 o'clock hours away, astigmatism, astigmatism produced 
or induced by the main incision is uh, is neutralized to some extent by the side port if the side port is little large so in this case the side port is little large and it has hopefully it has neutralized the astigmatism that has been induced by the main incision there are some cells sticking to the posterior capsule near nine o'clock the cells are dislodged by irrigation just by the irrigating proof and now after this I'm going to use the Simcoe cannula again to remove these lens fibers yes it is done there is some more polishing of the undersurface of the anterior capsular rim and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens and this is called hydro implantation where you keep the anterior chamber formed by the irrigating probe or by manual IA this irrigation keeps the anterior chamber formed and the lens is implanted the leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is pushed by the irrigating probe into the capsular bag in this case the leading haptic and the optic are stuck to each other but I hope it will get released soon and I don't have to do extra maneuvers let us see still it is attached and now as I inject Moxie I see that it is released the lens is getting uh, centered it indicates that the haptic and optic are no longer stuck to each other the side port the only one side port that was made in this case has been closed by hydrating corneal stroma and this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber and the anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills I'm happy to announce that the number of surgical videos in YouTube has crossed 1500 today so it is a great day for me hope these videos are helpful in your practice anybody in this world any ophthalmologist in any corner of this world can watch these videos get tips and tricks give very good vision to patients affected with cataracts thank you very much for your attention